yeah good day uh you remember our mba session the mind to business business model canvas and action now this is the mind your business aspect of it and i'm going to do justice with you know in a moment now this is mind your business is your first your mind rather <laughs> is your first business so your mind stands at the foundation of whatever you want to do whatever you want to do in life the first place to invest in is your mind if you don't do that you will not get the best out of it as a matter of fact your output is a reflection of how much you have invested in your mind now uh, you know uh, your mind is your mind with your mind you might succeed but without your mind you cannot succeed you know I, i'm not disputing the fact that um, because of your muscle you can be the best fighter but uh, the, the truth is this there is no success that be made without the power of the mind real success don't come accidentally because you've got the muscle because you've got the mind they come because you have been able to put things in order with your mind you have been able to plan things and you know you have been able to do great things in planning in execution and all of that through the power of your mind you might succeed because of your mind but uh, it's not possible for you to succeed without your mind uh, you know sometimes you you hear people ask you questions like have you lost your mind but but truly it, it, it's it's not a uh, in an insult you know when you look at it critically you realize that a certain level of life our mind capacity is is exposed there are some things that you can't just absorb there are some things you can't just see you know you don't need to deceive yourself you know why others are seeing solutions sometimes being honest you see like wow this, this is a big problem but they, they are seeing solutions not because the the situation is not real but that is the capacity of their mind that is what their mind can produce that is what their mind is giving them at that point in time so it, 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 it's a demand on you that okay this is it my capacity has to increase what used to be a problem yesterday today should be a solution to you and that's what we're talking about you know the, the capacity of the mind now if you cannot nurture determination you must have lost your mind and that's you know in the next slide you're going to see what i mean by mind now you know at, at other times not just you know that that thing that you use inside your brain uh, for thinking it also means you know mature in nurturing determination if you have not matured in nurturing determination you are lost your mind uh, and that's just the truth you know sometimes most of the time uh, what makes a difference between myself and yourself is how determined we are you know to getting that thing that we have proposed in our heart done some people will give up five minutes to their success but some people would not give up they will keep at it and uh, eventually when they get the result we feel like wow this guy is a great guy and all of that no he doesn't have better strength than you as a matter of fact you know his mind may not uh, be as strong as yours but he has the mind you know everybody will run you know at the sight of a snake but the person that will kill the snake will, will be the one that, that comes back you know after we have all run away so that, that that's it mature in nurturing determination now you it's possible you want to ask okay how do we do this and all of that so let's go to the gym you see the gym is the, the the name of the gym is think big that's what you see at the door post of the gym and what do i mean by by think big think let's take that first of all uh, everybody actually think everybody think everybody think hear that and let it sink <laughs> you know everybody think actually but we we take different direction in our thought pattern you know i have something like I, I call think number line you know to the right side of it 
when you think rightly, you blink. But when you think wrongly, to the left side, you stink. And that's that's it. You know, some people when you when you get to them for, for advice, you know, you share ideas with them, what they give to you is nothing more than stinking idea, you know, stinking opinions. You you just can't cope with it. Why, why would somebody think like this? Everybody is thinking, but the direction of thought we, we take determines whether we blink, you know, or we stink. So Thinking is that gym that builds the mind capacity. Now look at big. Big big is another thing that we know we have to check out. Uh, I, I I was able to get you know wonderful combinations for the word big. Now think big. It's not just the title of uh, the book by Ben Carson. To me, it means a whole lot of things. You know, I I was able to think over it. You know, meditated and. Over a long period of time, I came up with, okay, let's uh, see what we can get from it. Now, I think I already talked about that. Now, big, you see the B in the big means boldly, boldly. When you are thinking, you think boldly. Now, that's how, you know, I, I, I just want to give us a template of how to build our mind capacity, how to build that, that, that ability to, you know, of maturity in nurturing determination. The first step is, you know, you think and think rightly. While you are thinking rightly, you blink. And when you are thinking rightly, you are blinking, think boldly. Think boldly. Don't be afraid to think. Nobody will take from you any deal or tax for thinking with your own head. You have the right to think with your head. So think boldly. Don't be afraid. Anything that allows fear in you, it's not godly. It's not for you. Don't allow any fear in your thoughts. Think boldly. Now, the, the next letter there is high and it stands for intelligently. Think intelligently. Don't just be too bold and stupid. Be intelligent with your thought. Uh, you know, don't just go the way, okay, yeah, you know, the big mouth way. No, 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 no. Put some logic into it. No, no, know what it takes for you to get this thing done. Check out, research on it. Get everything needed for you to, you know, be the best in that thing you are thinking about. Be intelligent about your thought. Be intelligent about your thought. And this requires that, okay, you have to gather knowledge. Get knowledge ask questions you know what you don't know ask questions about them see how you can you know go around things you know solve problems and all of that practice what you know just get intelligent and if you will see the g there that, that's godly godly i am about to tell you that no matter how much you have taught boldly and intelligently and you have not taught you are not you, are, you, are, you decide in your heart not to think godly you cannot get the big result the only thing you can get is the buy result and that's just true you must have heard before that everything happens twice first in the in the mind and second in reality if a man will not put god in his thought i bet it with you he cannot have big result it can be buy can be bad, yeah, two times, you know, uh, of the actual thing because you are boldly, uh, you, you know, you talked about it boldly, you know, and intelligently. It's not just sufficient that you do those, those two things without adding the godly to it. Sometimes the haha moment comes when we cannot even trace it to boldness. We can't even trace it to intelligence, but we can trace it to godliness. Yeah, that's it. Um, build on your interest. Build on your interest. Uh, you you have the capacity to do all things, but the truth is, you should not do all things. You are not God, so get something to build on. And what you should build on is on your interest. Build with a mindset of building to last. Set the foundation that can carry generations. And when you do that, you have quality. To deliver to the people build to last build on your interest uh, thank you once again uh, i am ark of god i know you enjoyed the brief session uh, on mind mind your business your business 
comes first of all from your mind. Your mind is your first business. So when you hear mind your business, after now, don't feel insulted. Just think about it. Somebody is actually giving you a timeless nugget, uh, you know, to check yourself and see what you can adjust and get better and uh, that's necessary our mind has capacity and it will tell you that you know some people can think well enough and make decisions for 10 people some hundred people some thousand and some million what's the difference the capacity of their mind how much they have gone to the gym and how you know they have uh, and that opportunity of thinking big over time, you know, and doing it repeatedly. Thanks so much. I am Mark of God once again. See you.